All the transitions by Bantiki are just insane. These are the most advanced and eye-catching draw transitions he has ever made. I'm sure you are curious to learn how to create this kind of draw transition yourself. Well, your wait is over. Just jump into Adobe After Effects and make this draw transition. In the timeline, we already have this footage. I know it can be tricky to find the similar footage that Bantic uses, but you can try Pexels. It's one of the best sites for free videos and photos. Alright, let's open the composition settings. I've been set the duration around 13 seconds. You can adjust the resolution based on your needs. The most important part here is the 3D renderer. Make sure it's set to advanced 3D. Once that is done, click OK to confirm your composition settings. By the way, if you want, you can access this project file on my Patreon. The link in the video description. Let's start by tracking the footage. You can find the 3D grammar tracker in effects and presets panel. Apply this effects to your footage on the timeline. Right away after effects, we begin analyzing the clip. Once the analysis is complete, you'll see a branch of tracking points appears in the scene. Next, you'll need to set a target point where you wanna place the 3D door. Move the time indicator to the frame where you want the door to appear. Then hover your mouse over the tracking points to find the best target. In this clip, this particular target point looks like the best spot. Now you need to right click on it and choose create solid and camera. Now take a look at the timeline, you'll notice two layers, the solid and the 3D camera. Now if you scrub through the timeline, you'll see the solid layer perfectly interacts with the footage. And it looks awesome. That means we are all set to move on and start adding our 3D door. For the 3D door model, you can rely on Sketchfab. I'm using this 3D door model. So special thanks to DJ Mason. After Effects supports importing 3D models in format like JLB, JLTF and more. I'm using the JLB format here. You can choose either the 9MB or 2MB version, whichever you prefer. Now let's switch over to the Blender to animate the door quickly. First press A on your keyboard to select all objects in the 3D viewport. Then hit X to open delete menu and remove them. Next import the door model. Go to File, Import, JLB. Locate your model file and open it in Blender. Zoom out if needed and use the move tool to position the model properly. Since we will be working with keyframes, it's a good idea to extend the timeline panel for easier control. Move the time indicator to frame 90, that's roughly 4 seconds. Now select the dual panel because we are going to animate it opening. Set a keyframe for the jet rotation by clicking on this small diamond icon. This creates the fast keyframe at frame 90. Then move the time indicator to around frame 135 and change jet rotation value to around negative 1. So the door opens. Add another keyframe there and that's your simple door opening animation done. Next select the second keyframe and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Then move the time indicator to the last frame of the timeline and press Ctrl plus B to paste. This helps extend the animation duration. Though honestly I'm not sure if that is the right way to do it. So if you're a Blender expert, let me know in the comments. Since we skipped animating the door handle, now the easiest solution is just select and delete it. Finally, to export the animated door, go to File, Export, JLB, name your file something like Door Animation and click Export. Once that is done, we are ready to head back to Adobe After Effects. Before getting back to After Effects, let's talk about the sponsor of this video, Undershare Uniconverter. One of the best tools for video editors, content creators, and anyone working with media files. It's packed with advanced AI features that make everyday video editing tasks faster and more efficient. For example, Uniconverter's Smart Video Compressor feature helps me save both time and storage space. Its batch compression lets me convert or compress multiple files at once, which is super handy when working with large number of videos, audio files, or images. Now let me share a quick experience with you. These are some of my latest videos. On average, an 8-minute HD video is around 600 megabyte, and a short-form video is about 100 megabyte. All together, these seven videos take up 2.67 gigabyte of space on my PC. Let's see how we can make them smaller using the Uniconverter latest version 17. First, I'll go to the Compressor tab, then I click drop down menu and select folder to import an entire video folder. All my videos are now imported. Let's look at one of them. It's an 8 minute HD video in MP4 format with a size of 600 MB, which is quite large. The output settings are the same expect for the file size, which we will adjust. You can modify the output settings individually by clicking the settings icon. Then adjust the file size to uh, 50%, reducing it from 600 MB to around 300 MB. If you want to apply the same compression to all files, go to the bottom left corner of the interface and slide the compression percentage slider. Alternatively, click the settings icon to open the pop-up window, where you'll find three compression modes, quality, size, and AI compression. 
you can move the percentage slider to adjust the quality and even change the format for example switching from mp4 to mkv once done hit ok to confirm and you see all the settings updated to change the save location just click here and set a new output folder then just hit compress all to start the process within a short time the compression is complete and here is the result the total size is now 1.39 gigabyte down from 2.67 gigabyte you can click the folder icon to preview the output videos they look great clean sharp and without noticeable quality loss if you wanna try undershare uniconverter version 17 check out the download link and more details in the video description now let's get back to the main video to import the 3D door model, double click in the project panel or press Ctrl plus I on your keyboard. Select the 3D door animation file and hit import to bring it into After Effects. Now drag the door animation onto the timeline. When the model settings proper window appears, click on Mac Composite to automatically resize the 3D model to match your composition and then hit OK. Next you need to stick the door to the track solid layer. First select the solid layer and press P to reveal the position property. Copy the position data by hitting Ctrl plus C, then select the 3D door animation layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste the position data. Now the 3D door is attached to the tracking point in your footage. Next hover your mouse over the 3D rotation gizmo and when you see the X, Y, Z axis, drag to move the door slightly upward, just above the solid layer. If the door looks too small, press S to reveal the scale property and increase the value until it fits naturally within your scene. Once again select the door layer and adjust its position using the X, Y, Z controls so it sits naturally on the solid layer. Now you scrub through the timeline, you will see the new 3D door follows the movement of the footage perfectly since it is linked to the tracking data. Everything looks good so far but there is one issue. The door is not opening. To fix this expand the door layer in the timeline until you see the animation options. Click the drop down menu and find the door action option. Select it to enable the animation. Now move the time indicator and voila, the door opens perfectly. It starts opening right at the 4 second mark, which matches the first keyframe we set at frame 90 in Blender. Now we have to apply lighting to the 3D door to make it feel more grounded in the scene. Right click on any of the blank area of the timeline, go to new and choose light. In the lighting settings pop up window, set the light type to environment and make sure cut shadows is checked. Then hit ok to confirm. You will now see the environment light layer appear in the timeline. Before adjusting the light, select solid layer, go to composition panel and extend the solid layer by clicking and dragging its edges. This will help to create visual surface for shadows to appear on. Next in the transform option of the light layer, you can adjust X and Y rotation to make the lighting look more natural. If you don't see any shadows on the solid, go to 3D renderer settings, click on renderer options, then select fit to scene and hit ok. The shadows should now appear. Since we only wanna keep the shadows and hide the solid layer, expand the solid layer properties, then open the material option. In accept shadows, choose only and boom, the solid layer disappears, leaving only the realistic shadows which makes the door look nicely grounded. You can enhance the light and shadow further by adjusting the light intensity or even applying an HDR environment for more realistic look. Now let's play through the timeline and check out the draw transition. It's not finished yet, but it's already looking awesome. We are just a few steps away from finishing the band decay style transition. The door starts opening at this frame, so we'll create a split here to start masking. First make sure the video layer is selected, then go to edit, split layer or press ctrl plus shift plus d to split the selected layer. Great. Now keep this new video layer selected. Next go to the toolbar at the top and choose the pen tool. Using it draw a mask around the frame of the door. Basically outlining the door area on your selected video layer. Once you're done, the selected part of the video will turn black or transparent. Now go back to the same video layer where we created the marks. Expand it and open the marks options. Click the inverted checkbox. This will make the transparent area appear inside the marks. You might not see it right away because the 3D door layer is in front of it. If you hide the 3D door layer, you'll see the masked area clearly. Let's unhide the door layer and move on to animate the mask. To start animation, click the stopwatch icon next to max path to set the first keyframe at the very beginning of the layer. Then move the time indicator of few frames forward and switch back to the selection tool. Now click the outside of the max to active its control points. Adjust the max point one by one to follow the door's frame. Move the time indicator forward again and continue adjusting the masking points as video and the door zoom in slowly. Manual masking can be a bit time consuming since automatic max tracking doesn't work well in this case. So I skip this part, you don't have to sit through the entire process. 
our masking animation is now complete. You'll notice several keyframes have been automatically created whenever we made adjustments. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next step. Well, it's time to place the second video on the timeline. This one will appear inside the max transparent area. Click on the transparent grid icon to clearly see the transparent selection. Now drag the second video from the project panel and place it on the timeline underneath all the layers. Instantly, you'll see the second video layer inside the doors masking area. Next, adjust the position of the second video layer so it aligns perfectly with the masked area. Scrub through the timeline to preview the transition. It already looks great, but if you want to refine it a bit more, notice that the max edges might look slightly sharp. To fix that, select the masked video layer and press M twice to reveal the max option. Then increase the max feather value slightly to soften the edges and blend both videos more naturally. That looks much better, smooth, cinematic, and perfect for a travel video or YouTube content. You can always enhance it further to give it a more professional Hollywood style look. And now finally, let's play back the final 3D door transition. I hope you really enjoyed this cool advanced 3D door transition. You can also try on Russia Unicorn Butter, all the details are in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.